A milestone for Kilauea Volcano. Tomorrow marks the 10,000th day of continuous eruption by Kilauea. The eruption began January 3, 1983 on the East Rift Zone, where activity today continues alongside a new vent that opened in February of 2008 at Halimauma'u Crater. The lookout there has been closed to the public ever since. KITV 4 Shane Enright and news photographer Sunny Ahuna got the tour of the area today. They bring us an up-close encounter with Kilauea. Since erupting in early 2008, the public has not been allowed this close to the Halemaumau crater. The crater continues to pump out dangerously high levels of sulfur dioxide, along with hazardous materials, including large rocks. Those rocks have uh, blasted through the wood fencing around the overlook over there. Uh, clearly, you wouldn't want to be there if that happened. Scientists with the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory are constantly monitoring the crater's activity. To detect the levels of sulfur dioxide, a vehicle equipped with a gas reader makes several passes through the thick plumes, while a geologist uses a thermal camera to detect lava activity. It is an active and dynamic landscape, and we are here to provide the safest lava viewing access that we possibly can. Park officials are also concerned about this sharp spun glass called Pele's hair that's found along the roadway and could injure park visitors. Media from as far as Europe took advantage of this rare opportunity to get close to the active volcano. It's really interesting here to see. I mean, of course, we would have liked more explosions. <laughs> Despite being kept further back, visitors from all over the world are still enjoying the breathtaking view. Incredible. Simply incredible. I have never seen anything like that before because in, in Germany we only have mountains. Even with the latest technology, Mother Nature can't be confined, leaving officials unsure when the area will reopen to the public. Until this, this eruption, this summit eruption calms down, I don't think we'll be seeing the road open anytime soon. So for now, this view will certainly do. Reporting from the Big Island, Shane Enright, KITV4 News. And we'll take that view because it is breathtaking. Yeah.